What's going on everyone? Leon checking in. If you've been following the channel, you know that I made a video, a video experiment of me trying to get a controller to work with my Samsung Chromebook Plus. Although this video was a fail video, it was good to make because it allowed me to find out what didn't work. I also did test some other controllers on the side that I didn't make videos of. Some of these controllers were unresponsive, some of them only worked partially, and none of them were quite as appealing as I wanted them to be. And as this experiment continued to go on, it just started getting really frustrating because I ended up buying a lot of controllers and I will be honest, I'm on a budget. So the way my process worked was that I would buy controllers, try them out, and if they failed, I would have to go ahead and return them. So I was doing quite a bit of buying and returning. So if you like the video, comment and subscribe, it'll support me. So hopefully, I'm not on this tight of budget. So yesterday morning I went out, I got another controller and that was a fail. It was an Xbox 360 Power A controller and I was about to give up and then I had one more idea, one more thing I could try. So what I have here is the Nvidia Shield Android TV controller. And the nice thing about this controller is that it doesn't only work with my Chromebook Plus, but it also works with my Android smartphone. I have a Nexus 6P and it works flawlessly. So many of you may have never heard of the Nvidia Shield Android TV because it is a little misunderstood and it just doesn't seem to be promoted that much. I don't know if that's changed. I tell you what, I went in the Best Buy to pick this up and the associates that I spoke to, they didn't even know where this was. So before I go ahead and talk about this controller, I do want to let people know that I tried the first generation Nvidia Shield controller and this one did not work at all. So if you want a controller that is going to work, that's an Nvidia Shield controller, you have to go with the second generation. So this controller is going to set you back about $60 and that means it is a little bit on the pricier side. And what we have in the box here is the controller obviously. We have a charge sync cable and we also have some instruction manuals. So if you've had a few controllers, this controller is going to be very easy to use because it most likely has a familiar setup. What we have here is an AXBY button configuration. We've got two thumbsticks. We've got a D-pad. We've got this panel down here which has a pause play button. And we've got volume up down buttons. On the top here, very familiar again, you're gonna have bumper buttons and trigger buttons and those work really well. And then we have the Nvidia Shield logo button here and that's used to pair this controller with your Android device or in this case the Samsung Chromebook Plus. So one of the first things you're going to notice here is that this controller has an edgy futuristic design here and I gotta say I really love it. I also like the color scheme here and it's going to go very nice with my Samsung Chromebook Plus because I'm rocking a carbon skin but it's also going to go really good with the Samsung Chromebook Pro because it's all black. Not only does this look really good, but it's also really nice to hold and it's very easy to use. So the next step is to pair the Nvidia Show controller to the Chromebook and this is a very easy process. As you can see, I already went ahead and opened up my Bluetooth settings menu. Now if you're lucky, the Nvidia controller will actually show up already without you having to do anything with the controller itself. But if it doesn't show up automatically, you're going to grab the controller and press and hold this Nvidia Shield logo button until you see the blue LED start to flash. And then if it wasn't in the menu before, it should show up now. And then you'll go ahead and click it and it'll say connect in. And then as you can see, we have connected to Nvidia controller V01.04 and it says connected. So as you can see, the Nvidia Show controller uses Bluetooth to connect to the Chromebook. But there is another way to connect the controller if you don't want to go the Bluetooth route. So you'll need a USB OTG adapter and we're going to go ahead and plug that into the Chromebook. 
And then the NVIDIA Shield controller does come with a charge sync cable. So we're gonna plug the USB type A part into the OTG adapter and that will allow it to connect as well and you can play games that way. Now the best way to use the NVIDIA Shield controller is in Bluetooth mode because you can actually go ahead and take a pair of headphones that have an auxiliary cable and you can plug them directly into the NVIDIA Shield controller and you get the audio from your Chromebook played through the controller into your headphones. Now you can't do this with the controller if you're using a OTG adapter and charge sync cable. The only way to do this is if that controller is connected to the Chromebook through Bluetooth. So now it's time to get into some gaming and here I am playing Dead Trigger 2 with the NVIDIA Shield controller and as you can see it seems to be working really good. Now Dead Trigger 2 does have a menu where you can remap the controller and I did have to go into this and make some changes but for what little changes I did make it is working excellent and as I play the game I'll probably make some more changes. The next game that I'm playing here is called Ocean Horn and it works great on the Chromebook and on Android and I would definitely recommend getting it. This game works really good with the Nvidia Shield controller and I didn't have to do any remapping whatsoever. So here we are playing Asphalt 8 and this was the ultimate test for this controller and unfortunately it didn't work perfectly with this game because I still couldn't use the nitrous function on the Chromebook. It would only work perfectly when used with my Nexus 6P. So as you can see the Nvidia Shield controller works pretty good with the Chromebook although I did have a problem with Asphalt 8 still. Now I do want to say one thing, this controller does work with your Android smartphone and I actually used it with my Nexus 6P to play Asphalt 8 and on my Android phone using the controller Asphalt 8 works flawlessly, it's, it's perfect. So in regards to the controller not working good with Asphalt 8 on the Chromebook, I don't think it's the controller's fault. I think it has something to do more with the Asphalt 8 app and the fact that the Play Store is in beta. Now as the Play Store improves and Android apps get better on Chromebook, I do expect this controller to work better, but again, it's the best controller I have tried so far. In fact, it's so good, I'm definitely going to keep it and I do think things will get better. So the next thing is, how do you turn the NVIDIA Show controller off? And the thing is, it actually just goes to sleep automatically. You don't have to worry about turning it off. And turning it on is very easy. You're just gonna go ahead and pick it up. That's it. And if it still doesn't wake up, you can just press a button and that'll make sure that it wakes up. So this experiment was kind of draining. It was very frustrating. I tried at least seven controllers that didn't work, that were just complete failures until I finally got to this controller here, the NVIDIA Shield controller. And I do gotta say, again, this is the best controller I've tried. It works pretty good. Who knows, maybe I'll continue to research this. Maybe I'll try another controller. But if you are looking for a controller that's going to work pretty good with Android apps on a Chromebook, this is definitely something to look at. Definitely worth checking out. I definitely recommend it. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, list those below. Definitely if you tried any other controllers, list those below and I can look into them and possibly do a video. And if you can, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It'll support me and I'll continue to put more videos out and you'll know when they are coming. So until next time, Leon checking out.